Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about a situation when you see that your taskbar did not respond or get frozen or even let's say, you know, you type something here. Let's say I would like to open S browser and despite you are making click, it does not respond. So let's see how we can fix that issue. For that, let's press Control, Shift and Escape button in your system that will open task manager and now here you need to search for explorer.exe so let me type here to make it easy simply we're gonna type explorer and here we go we can see this windows explorer now exists here and before that let me actually fix this auto hide functionality that i have added in my taskbar so that we can see it and there we go now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a left click on it and then right click and then I'm going to click on restart. After restarting Windows Explorer, now try and check whether your menu system is working fine or not. So if it is working, then that's great. Or else what we need to do is we need to press Windows button and need to open PowerShell. And since I am assuming that your taskbar is not working, so you may not be able to open PowerShell directly from here. So let's see how we can open that through taskbar. For that, here we need to click on run new task. And then I'm going to type here PowerShell. Okay. And then let's run it with administrative privilege. For that, you need to check this option, which will run this application using administrative privilege. Now let's click OK and there we go guys we have opened Microsoft Windows PowerShell and here you need to type following command which is SFC and then forward slash scan now let's hit enter so what this command will do is it will verify and check your whole system for error so this is going to take some time to get completed now here we need to wait for a while till the command check for the errors in our system. And there we go. We can see that the Windows resource protection found corrupt file. Now this command have successfully repaired them. This means that we have fixed some of error. And this could be the issue probably that was causing start menu not function properly. So in this way guys we can fix this start menu issue in our system i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye